The state senates passed a package of bills aimed at providing meals for more than half a million students from low-income households. Advocates for Children of New Jersey found last April, though 540,000 students were eligible for free or reduced-price school meals, just 44 percent actually got breakfast in school, and that number's been dropping. But not in Patterson. Leah Mishkin shows what's working to help hungry kids in families still chasing the dream. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Kindergarten student Marletta Moretta took a break from her breakfast to sing us one of her favorite songs. The five and six year olds at the table next to her were enjoying their cocoa puffs and apple juice. My favorite is what I'm eating right now. It tastes yummy. They're able to get these meals because of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's school breakfast program. More than 300,000 students in New Jersey received breakfast in the 2017-2018 school year. The state is 19th in the nation for feeding breakfast to eligible students. It's up from 48th place in 2011. There are students that actually sometimes ask for more. There are students that eat every piece and don't leave any crumbs. So I know that this is something that they need. Everybody enjoy? Yeah! All right. But the key was figuring out how to get families to participate in the program. Patterson overall is a uh, district that is um, a low-income district. Uh, we have um, many different types of families here. We have large families, we have smaller families, we have uh, single parent um, homes, we have grandparents who are assisting with raising young children also. For the Patterson School District, they stopped making K-8 through students come in early to eat breakfast and instead incorporated it into the beginning of the class. The program they use is called Breakfast After the Bell. And is that a solid or is that a flat shape? This kindergarten teacher even uses the food to teach the kids about shapes. Rectangles. Rectangles. And because of programs like Breakfast After the Bell, the New Jersey Department of Agriculture says the number of students having breakfast at school has gone up from 5,700 students in the 2011-2012 school year to 17,600 students during the 2016-2017 school year. A lot of times when students fall asleep throughout the day, we have to send them to nurse. Because they start off with a nice meal, which sets the tone, we don't have to send them there because they're able to stay awake and their energy level is better. That's, what, that's why the breakfast program is great. Why do you like having breakfast in class? Because it's more fun. The Senate yesterday passed a bill which makes it a requirement to incorporate the Breakfast After the Bell program in all schools where 70 percent or more of the students qualify for free or reduced price meals. An identical bill will be considered in the Assembly. In Patterson, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.